heart do the thinking mm. Let your hand be the guide Honey, what were we thinking? Stepping into each other's nights Good morning! I haven't spoken yet this morning so my voice is a little not cute. <laughs> it is Monday, February 1st. Lockdown continues. We won't go over all of that. Basically my life at the moment doesn't really follow like days of the week, you know? Like a Monday is no different from a Saturday. Because a lot of the work that I have is not, it doesn't have to be done at a specific time or on a specific day, I have sort of fallen into this habit of just working all the time, um, which is silly because I think that's the surefire way to lead to burnout. So I'm trying this thing where I force myself to at least one day a week not touch any work. Um, so far that hasn't happened, uh, <laughs> but today is Monday and I think I want to treat it like an actual Monday and just get as much work done as possible so that the rest of the week I can chill out and then hopefully by Sunday I can actually take a day off and not touch work. We'll see. I'm gonna start the day like I start pretty much every day, which is with some tea and my new book. I just started Villette by Charlotte Bronte. I've had this book for a couple years and I've been meaning to read it, you know, but I really love Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte and I've been told that this one of hers is a bit of a letdown because it's not as good as Jane Eyre. My reading goal for 2021 is to instead of focus on reading as many books as possible like I did in 2020 when I read a hundred books, I'm gonna focus on reading big books, things that I've been putting off for many years, um, and books that intimidate me. You treat me so good, I think that I'm falling do it so good, it's your name I'm calling. We got kind of a lot of stripes going on here today, but we're going with it. I've been keeping up with running, it's my go-to exercise, um, but I don't run every day because I think that's like not good for my joints at least. I don't want to make a sweeping statement, but I think you're not supposed to run every day. I ran yesterday, so today is my day off from running, but I still need to get outside every day and I'm still trying to do that 10,000 steps thing. So now is the time when I would normally go running, but instead we're gonna go for a walk. It's a moment of weakness. It's the thrill of the night. Come and join me in dreaming. Getting lost in the wine and the sheets in the moment we just might do it so good. It is just about 1.30 now. Ended up being out for that walk a bit longer than I had planned, but it's fine. I'm gonna eat a quick lunch, and then I have a call at two. I realized that I named this productive day in the life and I haven't technically like done work yet, <laughs> but that is the beauty of being ahead in time zones. A lot of the people that I'm interacting with are back in the United States, which is five hours behind. So it's only 8.30 a.m. there. Baby, I about seven minutes until my two o'clock Zoom call. This call is actually for a course that I'm taking. It's called 90 Day VA and it's all about the skills needed to work online as a virtual assistant. The course is all self-paced, so I've been mostly doing the lessons in my bedroom, but every week they have a Zoom call for whoever wants to be on it. I've only been doing the course for a couple weeks, so it's still pretty new, but I do have an affiliate link, believe it or not, so if it's something that you're interested in and um, you also want to support me, uh, use the link below and sign up and we can be classmates. I made some good progress on my to-do list, which makes me feel very good. Uh, and now, because the sun is about to set, I'm gonna go outside and finish my 10,000 steps and also just get a little bit more um, daylight. Old bones rest here. I 
will say I've learned that rush hour still exists. Like, this is rush hour. And there's like four cars on the road instead of none. And that guy. With wicked games, I'm always one step behind. It's a little bit earlier than I would normally eat dinner, but the kitchen is free at the moment, and I think by the time I finish cooking, I will be hungry. So I'm gonna get started on just cooking whatever's left in my fridge before it goes bad. <laughs> that dinner's done, um, I realized I actually have a bit more work that I need to do, so I'm gonna log back on. This is pretty normal for me though that I don't stop working until after dinner. Just because I start my day so late, my, my work day, um, it ends up going later as well. Personally, I prefer it because I feel more motivation to do exercise or read in the morning and a lot less <laughs> later in the day, whereas I'm totally happy to just log on to my computer um, later in the night. So I'm gonna work for a couple more hours and then I'm going to put my computer away because I'm creating a new rule for myself that the computer goes away at 11. It's not that impressive, like 11's not early and also I definitely still use my phone after that, I can't lie. But it's just that if I don't put away my computer, I will continue working because, you know, there's not a specific time that I have to stop. Um, and I just think that's unhealthy for me. I have a much happier going to bed if I switch to either reading or journaling um, at 11. So that's it's a new rule for 2021. I've sort of been sticking to it. We'll see how that goes tonight. It is now 9.20 p.m., so I just worked for about two hours, uh, and I feel like it was the most concentrated work I've done all day, which is just kind of funny. See, I work better in the evenings, I just know that I do. But now, the next thing on my agenda, it's not literally on my agenda, I did not write it in the planner, um, because I wasn't gonna forget that it is my brother's birthday, so I'm gonna call him. Uh, which I would have done earlier, but there's a five hour time difference. And also he, like myself, is not a morning person. Happy birthday! Thank you. <laughs> Guess what, friends? Computer is closed. It is 11.09 p.m., which is not that bad. That's not that much later than I said I would close my computer. Lockdown has really just completely changed my sleep schedule. Well, it did in the fall, I should say, because I was kind of a sleep maybe 2 a.m. to 10 a.m. kind of person, which is not that weird. I'm in the music industry, it's fine. But then lockdown, in the fall, I was going to bed sometimes as early as like 10 o'clock, which is just crazy to me because like, I used to have gigs that started at 10 o'clock. So now I'm sort of splitting the difference, which feels a lot more normal. These days I'm going to bed around sometime between midnight and one, and I wake up sometime between eight and nine, and uh, I like it a lot. <laughs> All right, my friends, I might read my book a little bit, but it's pretty much bedtime. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me on my productive day in the life here in Dublin lockdown. It's helped me a lot to find little ways to feel productive or big ways. I got a lot of work done today and that felt really good. That said, productivity is not the most important thing right now. So if you're someone who's kind of struggling with burnout or feeling like 
you have to be moving forward right now, um, don't. That's easier said than done. I'm constantly worrying about that kind of thing of feeling like I'm not progressing and feeling like, you know, we're wasting time. In the same way that having days like today that we're all about productivity uh, is really important to me, it's also really important for me to have days where I don't do any of this stuff. And so a goal for the year, another one on my long list, is um, finding balance. I don't think I'm that good at it. <laughs> But that's what makes it a good goal. We're starting not great and we're gonna end better. <laughs> Thank you again so much for watching. Um, making these videos has not only made me feel kind of productive, but it's just so much fun. And I love getting to share this weird lockdown life that I'm living in Ireland uh, with all of you. So thank you, thank you. Um, please leave me a comment. I love hearing from you all, where you are in the world, what you've been up to. Is productivity on your side these days or are you kind of like nah that's for a post pandemic world because that's valid <laughs> please remember to subscribe if you haven't already or if you have you can share this video with a friend ask them to subscribe <laughs> thanks for watching and good night